guys. It's been a while. Um, again, life has been crazy and busy. Um, but here I am. I'm back for now. I'm trying to get more on my, uh, I'm trying to get on top of doing things other than work, but, uh, you know, work's crazy. School starts up in like a week, so we'll see what happens. Um, but I just passed three months post-op. So I figured it's as good a time as any to update you guys. Sorry if I sound a little nasally, but I am recovering from a cold, which totally kicked my butt. <laughs> the I just got back last night from um, went to Hershey Park. It was my niece's thirteenth birthday, so on the sixth she turned thirteen. So we just went. Um, I was gonna film what I eat in a day, but then I forgot to film breakfast, and I woke up kind of late, and it's just like a whole thing. So, instead, this is going to be an update at a grocery haul. What? Sorry if I keep looking over there, but there's a fly, I think, or some kind of bug behind the curtain. But I can't, I can't find it, but I can hear it. Um, so, anyway, uh, I'm going to keep this update pretty quick. Not much has changed since my last update. I am down 42 pounds. Yeah, something like 42 pounds uh, since the beginning. Um, which is fantastic. I have moved down into the next size, um, which is annoying. It's obviously great. Oh my god. I'm like afraid I'm going to open the curtain and it's going to be a bee. I'm like so afraid of bees. Alright, so anyway, I'm down 42 pounds. I'm down... Does that officially make me down four sizes? Yeah. I'm down officially just about to be four sizes, which is great, but also annoying because I can't keep up with uh, clothes. Um, mentally, I've been kind of having a hard time. Uh, you know, I am in therapy, which is fantastic. Um, I think everyone should go through therapy. Um, but I'm not going to have a debate on that right now. Um, yeah, I mean, it's getting, you know, we're a society of instant gratification and, you know, you have a surgery and you're not 100 pounds lighter the next day and no one goes into that expecting to be 100 pounds lighter the next day, but I think people also expect to lose weight really, really quickly and uh, I think that I'm a slow loser compared to others and there are outside factors um, that kind of contribute to that, which is kind of annoying. But I sh I'm still grateful for the weight that I am losing and that I have lost. Um, I just wish it was more. Um, but I guess when I went to my orientation, somebody said, like, we're no, no one's, there's always going to be more weight. None of us are ever going to be happy with where we are. And, and I remember thinking, like, oh, that can't be true. And no, it's kind of not. I mean, it, it kind of is true. <laughs> like, there's always going to be more weight to lose. Um, so I'm just trying to stay on the positive side of things. And uh, like, man, <laughs> I got this done at the park. Me and my niece got kind of tattoos. Um, what else? My hair, uh, I still haven't lost that much hair, which is great. Um, and I think that the falling out, not that it ever really did, has slowed down a lot. Um, it doesn't really look any thinner, which is great. My face has been freaking out now and then. Um, when I After I first got surgery, it kind of cleared up almost immediately, but now it's like, I don't know, it's like freaking out again. My whole, like, skin changed. Like, I woke up from surgery, like, a complete, like, greasy mess. And uh, ever since then, like, my skin texture has changed a lot. Like, I used to be normal to dry and now I'm kind of like combination like kind of leaning towards oily in other places which is very weird to me and kind of annoying and I hope that goes away soon um because I'm not really used to having acne I'm not a huge fan especially because it's summertime and I don't want to have to wear a lot of makeup to cover that up to work so I don't know we'll see I don't know it's just like a lot of changes all at once and I'm kind of starting to feel overwhelmed, like, I'm coming up on a year anniversary of, like, some crazy event that happened in my life, and 
um, it's got my emotions on edge to begin with. And then add on, like, I had a major surgery. I um, got promoted and am in a new store. Um, I'm going back to school. And that starts on Monday. And, like, so I've just kind of been on edge. And my sister got her surgery on Wednesday, which was uh, the 10th. Yeah, Wednesday, so that was the 10th. So that's cool, because now there's someone in my family who gets it. Um, and, you know, so she's looking forward to it, and I'm happy for her, and, and so far, so good for her. Um, I actually just showed her my YouTube channel, so she's probably going to watch this. Um, so, what up? How's it going? Um, so, actually, that was kind of scary for me. Oh, my God, my cat. That's kind of scary for me because, like, literally nobody in my life knows that, like, I started a channel. Um, but uh, she said she saw it and she thought it was cool. So that's cool. Maybe that'll be motivation to upload more. I don't know. I just had my first, like, uh, road trip amusement park experience since surgery, which was a crazy trip because, like, I went to an amusement park and I didn't eat crap. <laughs> I don't think... Uh, yeah, I didn't have, like, a single snack the whole time we were there. Like, not even a churro, which I love churros. No pretzel, none of that. Um, you know, I didn't want it. I had a turkey sandwich, like, half of a turkey. Half of a half of a turkey sandwich, really. Um, and, like, my niece had chicken nuggets. And so I had, like, I mean, not chicken nuggets, but, like, you know, like, the chicken tenders. So I had, like, a quarter of one and some fur trice. And that's all I ate in, like, the 14 hours that we were at the park. Was it 14 hours? It wasn't 14 hours. It was, I think we spent 10 hours there. That's all I ate in, like, the 10 hours we had at the park. I drank, like, a buttload of water because it was 90 degrees on Wednesday when we were in Hershey Park. Um, and I bought that all-day drink deal, which I highly recommend because they give you, like, a giant cup and uh, free refills all day. And it's like $16, which pays for itself in, like, two drinks. If you've ever been to a freaking amusement park, you know what I'm talking about. So it pays for itself in, like, two drinks, which is great. And it includes slushies. So when it got, like, to the point of being super hot, I was like, give me that slushy. Because that shit was cold and it was much appreciated. But anyway, so it was, like, a crazy thing to, like, be in an amusement park. I kind of felt like I was missing out on something because, like, I wasn't having, like, the full amusement park experience. But, like, I did have the full amusement park experience because... I fit on roller coasters again. <laughs> and that was so cool because when I was 17, uh, we used to go to music competitions and uh, it was always at Dorney Park. And I was small when I was 17. I was like 133 pounds because um, I was still on the dance team. I had a six pack and all that stuff. And we went to an amusement park and they had this ride. And I'm sure that it probably, like I was thinking about it the other day, like the situation probably wasn't what I thought it was, but I was a teenager working a ride who didn't explain it to me. Um, there was a ride and it wouldn't close over me. So they made me like move to the next seat over, which uh, like, I, it took me 10 years to realize that it probably was just that the seat was broken and not that I am, was a gigantic, morbid, obese woman who couldn't ride a roller coaster, even though I had been riding roller coasters all day and were on rides after that. But that situation traumatized me because there was a lot of people around. And, like, I don't know, it was, like, really embarrassing that the thing wouldn't close over me. Um, so after that day, I never went on a roller coaster again, which is really sad because I'm a total adrenaline junkie. And I love roller coasters. Um, but yeah, so we went to Hershey Park and I was like super nervous. I was like in the tester seats. And uh, it was like a really emotional thing because like I would sit in the tester seat and like be like, oh, does it fit? And like it fit no problem. And um, I know that three months ago I wouldn't have fit in those roller coaster seats because <laughs> I was a lot bigger. Um, but it was just really satisfying. Like... I can go, like, I want to go to Great Adventure now, and, like, Universal, and, like, my niece, like, my sister and her husband, uh, my sister's afraid of roller coasters, and my brother-in-law is afraid of heights, so they don't really do that kind of stuff, and she loves it, and, like, so I have a partner in crime to go to amusement parks with, and, uh, 
Now I can go on roller coasters. <laughs> so that might not be a big deal to some of you, but it was a big deal to me. Um, and like we went to the water park and like I was below the weight limit for the inner tubes and uh, that was cool too. It was like a way less embarrassing experience to like walk around in a bathing suit like and feel okay. Like I felt okay. I didn't feel like this like creature that everyone was staring at. I felt like obviously I was bigger than a lot of the people there, but I kind of felt more like I fit in to the crowd like, more like a human and less like a elephant. <laughs> I talk so negatively about myself, but I'm working on it, guys. I'm working on it. I'm in therapy. Um, you know, body positivity is important. I just don't have it right now. And, uh, I'm, I'm working on it. So don't come for me, please. All right. So, uh, I'm going to include a quick little grocery haul in here. Um, just so you guys can kind of get an idea. I mean, it's not like a huge one, but you can kind of get an idea of where I'm at with my eating now and then next week I promise I'm going to try really hard to film what I eat in a day when I'm off I just don't know what day I'm going to be off so we'll see um and uh I'll catch up with you guys later okay so here's just like a quick overview of everything that I bought and then um I'll go in a little more depth with everything okay so um first thing I got a bunch of cold cuts cheese chicken, bologna ham, and provolone cheese. Um, my husband, I'm sure that was out of frame. My husband likes to take them for, to work, and so do I. It's quick and easy. So that's your basic. Um, these are something I wanted to try. Uh, it's just like a bowl with the veggies all cut up, and you add like a sauce to it. Um, and you can do certain things, like this one, you put eggs in it for breakfast. I bought and you'll see that in a second. I bought ground turkey because I thought that maybe that would be good for, like, me and my husband. Like, he'd probably really like this one. And then this one's just... <laughs> this one's just cauliflower um, and bean sauce. And I think that I'll like this one a lot with uh, some ground turkey cut up. Uh, I'll get that in a second. I got onions... Uh, these are, what is this, tomatoes, I don't like tomatoes, but my husband does, red peppers, broccoli crowns, like a lot of produce these days, broccoli crowns, cherries, um, me and my bird both love cherries, red grapes, which are my absolute favorite, those are really good if you freeze them, green peppers, French green beans, I love these, um, what is this, nectarines, I don't even know if I'm in focus. Peeled carrots, cucumber, um, gala apples. I bought these because one of my favorite snacks is uh, a rice cake with like a schmear of like you could do nut butter, sunflower butter, some kind of butter, um, and like dried fruits and sliced apples on top. So I got those for that. This is peaches, sweet potatoes. I'm really picky when it comes to salads. I basically only liked like romaine, so I just got two bags of chopped romaine, and then my husband really loves spinach, like with everything, so he can mix it with the romaine or he's just fried up. So I got that. Um, some little red baby potatoes, because I can't just only buy for me, you know, two of us live here. And then, uh, what is this? A quarter of a watermelon. And then I saw these. These are new. I wanted to try it. Um, because I just do. <laughs> they, uh, Margaritaville, Jamaican Jerk Brand Chicken Sausage. I don't know how those taste. And, uh, they had a Cuban Mojo. Moho. I'm like the worst Puerto Rican. Sorry, guys. Brand. Um, those look pretty good. I want to try those out. And then Sweet Apple Chicken Sausage. My husband and I both really love that. This is the ground turkey I was telling you about. And then I have, like, ton of chicken in the freezer like I have a lot of meat in the freezer which is why this is all the meat that I bought um but I didn't take it out to defrost so I needed something to cook tonight so I just got a little chicken um so that's that everything is falling on me um I just needed some butter these are great um they're kind of these are the carbs well these are the whole uh, situation I mean, it's only got 8 grams of carbs in it. It's not too bad. Carb-wise, got a little bit of protein. I love these. Just, like, to stick them in my lunchbox for, like, I have 20 seconds to eat something. So, 
have these, and I introduced my husband to it, and he loves them. And then in my last video, I did what I eat in a day. I showed you muffins. They didn't have those exact ones again, so I'm going to try these out. I mean, you can't really go wrong with banana chocolate chip. Um, and then double chocolate also, because I also got my husband into that, which is really great, because they're fantastic, they're delicious, and they take 35 seconds in the microwave. It's awesome. Um, and then we just needed milk, and then... I get sick of water, so I buy that, and I just dilute it a little bit with water so it's not, like, crazy sugary. Although, thank the Lord Jesus, I haven't had um, issues with sugar, which is fantastic. Um, not that I'm walking around eating cookies and stuff all day, but uh, that's that. And then, while these are up here, just more of my favorite marinades. Roasted garlic. Sorry, the lighting is awful. Garlic and herb, and I want to try this one out. Sweet and spicy habanero, because again, um, I have tried spicy foods and I don't have much of an issue with it, which is great. And then here, here's my little Lily. That's Lily, my little ladybug. Um, and let me just put the cold stuff away and I'll just show you the rest real quick. Okay, so here's like the dry grocery stuff. I'll start over here. I don't eat a lot of pasta these days. But if I do, I try to make it a little worth it. So I like this brand. Um, it's chickpea pasta. It's like the same amount of carbs as regular pasta. Except it has more fiber and protein. Um, so in a two ounce serving, it's 14 grams of protein. So if I eat, if this is like my four ounce meal, then it's 28 grams of protein. Which it never is. And, you know, there's always pasta sauce, maybe a meatball, I don't know. So I got that, and then I got regular pasta from my husband, um, and I will sometimes eat this. I'm not, you know, I'm not going to lie and be like, oh, I never eat it anymore. No, I will eat this sometimes, uh, especially if he's making it and I'm hungry, um, but mostly this is for him and this is for me. Um, I love these. <laughs> you, I, uh, did I have these? No, I didn't. In uh, my eat in a day, I don't think I made these, but this is one of my favorite breakfasts. Um, it says 14 grams of protein on here, which is probably what I end up with because I don't eat a full serving. But when you make um, when you make it with milk and egg instead of just water, then it goes up to 18 grams of protein. They're freaking delicious. Um, they're heartier than regular pancakes because they have like you know all the whole like oats and grains and stuff in them, and they're so good. Um, definitely recommend my favorite. I just like to have these in the house. Um, when my husband, uh, you know, I work a late night and he's whipping up a dinner, he'll make like uh, hot dogs and mac and cheese or something. And um, I needed olive oil and this was on sale. So I got that one. Uh, yellow rice, Spanish rice. And we needed coffee. This is my husband's favorite. Um, and I'm kind of over the dark roast, so I got this one to try. Let me know if it's good. Lily, my cat, is trying to be a helper and she just jumped on the counter. Right here. Can you stop being bad? Get down. Get down. Thank you. Yeah, so I got that to try. My husband loves to take these kinds of things in his lunchbox. Um, the fig bar. These ones are pretty good. Apple cinnamon. He likes these. These were for me. He can have some, obviously, but these are for me. Um, throw in my lunchbox whenever I, I like. I don't have time necessarily to heat up a meal. Um, but I can just whip this up real quick. It has the cracker and everything in it. This is a go-to. I love these. Um, and then I have more cat food than anyone will ever need in their whole life. But I have two very large cats who scream when they don't have any. <laughs> um, this is my laundry detergent that I like. And I actually, I don't know if I like this, but it was on sale, so I grabbed it. Um... My favorite cleaner method, all-purpose cleaner, the lime one, smells so good. I love all of the method products, honestly. Um, I don't really use anything else in my house anymore, um, except Clorox is allowed because if it doesn't smell like bleach, it ain't clean. But um, the lime one's my favorite, and I also like the grapefruit one. I just love, I love method cleaners. I have the shower, the glass, everything, all of it. But I was out of this one, so I got it. And then I've been digging herbal essences. I don't know. I've never tried this one before, but I smelled it, and it smelled so good. So I'm going to give this a try, see what's up with that. Um, these I've never tried before either, but I'm kind of bored with what I've been doing. Um, 
I like those Bonito ones. I think this is kind of the same thing, except this is pea protein instead of chickpea protein. This is like peas, beans, and lentils. Um, that's the macros if anyone wants to see it. It's only 8 net carbs for a serving, but it's 4 grams of protein for an ounce, so that's pretty good. So we'll see. And then I really love pistachios. And this was a good price. This was, this is what is this, 12 ounces of pistachios, and it was like $11. So that's pretty good. It's almost a full pound. Um, and I love these. I just take a handful, like, whenever I'm hungry, and throw it on, just snack on it. It's great. Sorry, I just got a text. And then um, I just needed this because water. And that's all of the groceries that I got. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like what I'm doing, please hit that subscribe button down below. Uh, leave me a comment if you have something that you want to see. If not, I'm just going to keep guessing. <laughs> and until next time, I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye, guys.